Welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. This episode is time to start making some AI limiters. So we're back here at our quick wire factory. Um, however, I wanted to make sure first that everything was going to fit here because we needed to bring in what? Well, let me back up. We need to bring in some copper sheets and then there's going to be one quick wire going out. Well, if we're making AI limiters here, let's just bring some stators over also. And then we can make electromagnetic control rods. Now, with those being made here, they're going to be going off to three different places. So, I popped in three stations. Again, checking to make sure that they would fit. And then also, we're going to be having one outbound for AI limiters. Now, the quick wire is going to be going out for the high speed connectors, the AI limiter for supercomputers, and the electro, uh, electromagnetic control rods. They're going out for magnetic field generator, plutonium fuel rod, and uranium fuel rod. So, everything is, all the stations are going to fit. Uh, and I hope the traffic signal or the signals will be working properly um but yeah so we got that and we can build our factory just going around this uh rock surface or rock for service rock formation right here and since we are going to need oh my gosh where did it go we're gonna need a whole bunch of stuff here um i think it's 2320 quick wire so that's going to be four of these lines because each one is pumping out 600 however um these stations each have 24,000 quick wire in it and i've already made this one the copper sheet drop off so uh we're gonna disconnect this um and get this drained out now granted oh man we could just you know grab some and delete them and uh but you know it, it's going against everything that we've been training for and we do not waste it here at fix it so i am going to set up some some oh how about one and I'm hoping I can get it in here. One uh, awesome sink. And we'll start this draining out while we are uh, building. And let's see here. That, yeah, that looks good. So if we take this, and again, not too worried about it being clean and neat. And there they go. And then we'll take this one. And we'll take that one to there, that one to there. Okay, so if we've got uh, 24,000 times four, we got 96,000. 96,000 divided by 780. That's going to take about two hours. But we're getting points, and we're getting coupons. And we're up to 214. And let's see, before we were at like 363. So hopefully that'll jump up after a couple minutes here. But we'll let that run and do its thing. And I could set up a second one and just have it go twice as fast. You know what? Can we fit another one in here? Yes. Okay. So then we can take this. And we'll run this power. I don't know. Will it reach that station way way over there at that end? Oh, I think I might already have that one plugged in. How about that station? Yes. There we go. Now it'll only take a, about one hour. All right. Oh, now oh, these things are facing. Oh my god, we got this. Well, we're going to need these for a buffer anyway. 
Um, but let's build some of this out. And I do have a blueprint. Boom. Right there. AI limiters. The standard one with the left and a right hand side going into assemblers. And we're going to need uh, 23.2 assemblers because we need 116 AI limiters per minute. Oh, man. And I, I, I don't, as far as I can tell, nothing else is going to be coming in here from all the research that I've done. So we'll start our factory uh, kind of like right here. And we'll send it off that direction. And with the 23.2 um, assemblers, let's, um, we're going to go with 24. So four rows of six. Oops, and this might help if I uh, finish this off too. Okay. Because then with the AI limiters, what we can do is we can either sneak them around that rock formation there and go to the other side. And we've got plenty of room. Well, here, I'll just fly. There. we got a little bit of room to work with here. But we've also got the back side of this rock formation. And we've got all that area right in there. Plus, we can sneak stuff around there to the other side and get around those stink clouds and set up some more factories there on the other side of this rock formation. So that's the plan. So let's get this going. So we want to go on this line right here. And um, let's start with the right-hand side. And, okay, they're going to be coming in from this side. So what if we put it... What if we just lined it up right there with the lines? Um, yeah, because if we do that, we'll be bringing in these four lines. And they'll scoot right along here. And then with the copper sheets, we'll have four more lines. And they can just ride right up there on top of them. Okay, that's going to work. So we'll send this out and let's get the left hand side and oh, how about if we go right there yep that's gonna work there and boom okay the li now with six <laughs> Let me back up. With the 600 quick wire coming out of each line of these guys, well, we just need six assemblers because they're going to take 100 quick wire per minute. So, done. Boom. Nice and even. So that's two. Ooh, man, this filled up fast. Ooh. Ooh, I might have to go and get some more material. Oh, that's right. Well, I grabbed a whole bunch of it, but then I started laying out all those foundations for the train stations, and oh my gosh, it got... Oh. Uh, it, it used several thousand. How far out can I go? How about one more? One more? Okay. This, I'm hoping, is enough. Okay, that's two rows. Okay, so let's get the right-hand side. And... Oh, I'm going to need some cable. Well, that took care of that. Okay, I'll go ahead, plop all of this stuff down, uh, get the belt, uh, get everything set up, and uh, then we'll start bringing over the belts and see what the hell happens. I'll see everybody in two seconds. Wow, setting up uh, the AI limiters went a little bit quicker than I thought. I even got the belt work done for the inbound on the copper sheets and the I've already preloaded all the uh, quick wire too just waiting for these guys to uh, finish up and doing their thing um, oh 
Oh, and oh, just right on cue. Thank you. Okay, those are done. But we still got one more to plop in there. And so I said, you know what? Be oh, we got to drain these out before we can bring in the uh, copper sheets. So uh, I went ahead, made a blueprint. Well, here, let let first let me show this. Boom. So yeah, we got a buffer for the quick wire. Quick wire is all fed in. All of the machines are preloaded with 500 quick wire. All that we need to do now is get the copper sheets over here. I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and uh, build the uh, um, electromagnetic control rod factory too. And oh my gosh, um, I'm planning. I've been planning big, and yeah, everything has been big. In fact, you know what? I have not uh, double checked the numbers. Um, like, oh, okay. We need 92 electromagnetic control rods and that's going to take 23 assemblers um well this right here was 24 of them four times six is 24 yeah uh i was thinking six by six but anyway so yeah we're gonna be able to do everything here and i'm thinking maybe just bring all the uh, ai limiters and electromagnetic control rods through here and then bop them pop them down underneath the stations and work their way over to the outbounds over there. But to make room for splitters and mergers and what have you, I figured we could, this should be enough room if we start right here on this one. So if we, so if we leave two full rows plus a little bit more to work with, let's go ahead and put down the electromagnetic control rods. And you know what? That's going to bug the hell out of me. And there. Right is on the right, left is on the left. Apply the changes. So let's take the right hand side and is that, uh oh, how about we do that? Yes, ooh, wait, okay, we're gonna have inbound and outbound. Ooh, okay, you know what? Let's just make enough room for everything. So, oh, wow, okay, well, tree, um, I will let you live for now, but let's start it here because we're we're just gonna have maybe one belt come out, two belts, perhaps. So if we actually start the construction here, and then we'll leave a bunch of room up there for belt work between the two uh, factories here. So this is still going to be the right hand side, and oh oh, one and oh yeah right there, okay and boom. And I don't think I have enough materials to finish all of this. And this should be the outbound. Yes, it is. Okay. And then if we put in another right-hand side. Oh, boom. I'm just checking the materials. Ah, hmm. Well, we'll go as far as we can go. All right. So let's get this one set up right there. There we go. And that's coming in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is plenty of room to do any belt work. Yeah. All right. So let's see. That is six right there. So let's get number 12 going. And boom, boom, boom. And this is going to be the left-hand side. No way. Did that just snap there? Did it? Oh, uh, wait, wait. What the? I'm so, I should be getting it a little bit closer just to do its thing. Hmm. Well, let's start up here at this one and see what the hell happens. Oh, man, what the hell's going on? Oh, I bet you because I placed the left ones down first. Oh, uh, they're not going to be... Oh, here, I'll show you what I'm owing about. There's this gap here. It's not even with this side. Ooh. I don't know what the hell happened, but you know what? It does not have to be symmetrical. And it doesn't have to be even. So let's get rid of you. And bye. Okay. So is that one going to be... Eh... You know what? Let's see what happens. Uh, we won't get rid of that one quite yet. 
All right, so let's get another right hand side in here. Electromagnetic control rods, right hand side. Whoa, 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 sorry. Uh oh. Oh, that's right, because. Oh man, that was scaring the hell out of me. Okay. I was like, why wasn't it lining up with the lines? So if we put another left-hand side one, boom. And how is that looking over here? Yep, that's... That's okay. Alright, let's put in another um, right-hand side. And if we bring it to there... Yeah, see? That'll work there. And let's bring a left-hand side in oh see now that's working what the hell happened okay it is what it is we'll just let it be okay so the left hand side will go in there and that one's taken care of let's get a right hand side Ooh, and let's get out of the way and boom Oh, and I think we just had just enough material. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we don't have enough reinforced iron plates. Okay, so that's it. Now, the electromagnetic control rods, they're going to take stators and a AI limiters. Well, we've got the stators done from previous episode, and the AI limiters um, have not been uh, coming out quite yet. But um, we can just feed it straight into the line. Um, set up some splitters to go off there. And then, you know, and just maybe some smart splitters to give priority to these guys. And then the any excess will be shipped out that direction. Okay. That is going to work out great. You know, let's see. Is that still doing its thing? Yep. Uh, how much further do we got to go? Okay. Eh, well, psh, quarter of the way done. Or quarter of the left. Alright, so we got stator drop off one. So let's get the staters over here. We can start bringing them in. Um, where's the stator train? Stator train one. Uh, yep, they're going to go to the pickup. And then they're going to come here to the drop off. And the stator train... Um, where are you? You should be right in there. And in fact, let's highlight the train first. Oh, come on. Yep, there it is sitting there. Okay, so let's turn uh, that on. Next station, stator pickup. That will work. We'll have that train rolling and moving. And I again, I will do the time adjustment for how long it stays at the pickup. And, oh man, we can't even bring over those guys yet. Oh, we need the copper sheets though. Damn you. Oh, okay, everybody close their eyes. Close your eyes. Oh, look, through editing, they're done. Okay, so let's get all of this out of here. And, uh-oh, why don't you want to go in? Yeah, we're going out. Oh, man. Fine. Let's see if we can do it this way. Oh, whoa, what? Why? Oh, is there something underneath here? Uh, nope. Nothing to interfere with it. Uh oh. You can see it does. It'll. Oh, it's not snapping where it's supposed to. Okay. Well, so if we take this. Oh, and that doesn't want to eat. Oh, okay. Well, I will go ahead and save this and reload it, and I will be right back. All right, let's give this one more shot and see if it actually works. If we come up to here and go back Ooh, two, 
There we go. Okay, much better, much better. And everything is still straight. Oh, nope. <laughs> Oops. Uh, we can just pop that guy right there, and we know that'll work. Okay, the staters are still inbound. Um, let's get copper sheets. Yeah, copper sheets drop off three, so we'll double check to make sure we've got the correct train. Uh, oh, more and more trains. Uh, copper sheets train three. Bingo. Okay, next station is the pickup. And then we will add... Copper sheet drop off and number three. Bingo. Save changes. And copper sheet train three. Let's see, we'll turn on self driving. No, no, cancel it. Docking. Oh, turn off self driving. No, no, I want it to go to the pickup. We'll edit the timetable, flip those guys around. And yeah, they're over there. We'll save the changes. Uh, let's turn on self-driving and now it goes to the pickup sheet so what it'll do is here i'll zoom in on this it'll come down here Oop. i'll come right off of here oh man that, i didn't realize it was that big or is it docking right now because i was going to say if it already did the docking it'll come down here come back onto our main line and then circle back up into it and there it goes i saw it kind of squiggle squiggle no that's copper sheet three one there's copper sheet train number three. Okay, well, let's get on with some more belt work. And hopefully the AI limiters will be working properly. Oh gosh, I hope so. And I did plumb it up underneath and got it going. Okay. Whoa, sorry about that. And, oh yeah. Again, like I did on the over there at the stator factory. Just made it nice and clean. No uh, stackable conveyor uh, poles. Stackable conveyor poles. That's exactly what it was. Okay. So. We'll hear the train whistle, hopefully, when it comes in. And we'll meet and greet it. Okay, now. We're going to have 60 on this line come out. And 56 come out on this side. Um, oh, but wait a second. Oh, um, we needed we needed 23 assemblers, and that's going to be 138 staters. And so, if we take uh, 23 times four is 80, 92 electromagnetic magnet. Ugh. AI limiters, 94. Okay, ooh, so this is going to take a good sized chunk of both of them. Okay, let's, um. Oh, we're going to have one, two, three, four inputs. All right, let's go with. Um, we'll put a merger right here. Okay, that'll work, right? Because we're going to have 60 per minute, and that's a Mark 1 belt. So when we start combining these two, we'll have to jump it up to a Mark 2 just to make sure we got the throughput. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do something very, very highly inefficient. All right. Let's get... Uh, we'll put that right there. There, yep. We'll have, oh, maybe if I uh, actually orientate it correctly. Boom, and we'll have it go uh, that way. There we go. Okay, that'll come in here. And then we'll take this guy and we'll zip him down here. Oh, oh, we are going to make it all the way. Cool. Uh, All right. Merger. Now, 
if we take a smart splitter, boom, and we'll pop him in the middle of the foundation row there. And let's program this. Uh, we'll, we'll want the overflow to go there and any leftover to go that way. Because we'll first need to make the electromagnetic control rods to make sure the nuclear factory is a... Uh, or power will keep on pumping away. And boom, we'll take this to this. Okay, so that's 116 on this, and the Mark II belt will handle 120. And we will then, actually, we need to move your butt up over here. So we'll line you up right here with that one. And We'll go there. Okay. So we'll copy the settings. And we'll come in here and paste them. Yes. So then we'll get rid of that and that. Alright. Now. We will take a regular splitter. Well, I don't know why I keep bringing up that menu. Um, oh, if we take it right, uh, yeah, we'll take it right along here. And, because we're going to have a whole lot, oh my gosh, there goes the stuttering. And we'll bring your butt to there. Oh, okay, so... He's doing it right here on the single lane. We put one there. And one there. Oh, reinforced iron plates. Okay. I'll be right back with some... You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not going to edit this out. Because this is what I've been doing. Whenever I run out of materials, I just do a quick fly and hopefully not hit anything. And I apologize for everybody that's getting dizzy. Let's see, rotors are on the bottom floor, uh, and reinforced iron plates are up here. Oh, there it goes. Frame rates came back. Woo! And I'll just come in here. Ah, uh, no grab. Let's try uh, 500. We'll see how long that lasts us. All right, here we go. Quick fly. Boosh! Nope, no staters, no copper sheets yet. Okay. Oh, and that's how I get more supplies. All right, and so we'll come up to here. This will be easier down here. And just to be consistent, we'll keep with the Mark II belts. Actually, I think I did put Mark 1s. Yeah, because the Mark 1 belts will definitely handle one row because the most is going to be 6, and 6 times 6 is 36, so Mark 1 belt will definitely handle it. Yeah, let's sort that out. Okay. Copper sheets and staters. Now we've got to belt in the staters. So again, if we just take a... Ooh, can we bring it in up and over that? No. No. We'll, uh, we'll bring it in from that angle. So we'll bring the staters in on this side, split off. And we'll set that up again. And we'll put your butt there. And your butt there. And backable conveyor pole. And arc two belts. So let's get our butts back up here. Connect that. Uh, 
And since I decided to build this on the fly, I want to make sure that, that we were getting the right stuff. Okay, staters, yes. And AI limiters, yes. Okay. Woo. Come on, copper sheets, where the hell are you? They didn't have that far to go. What the hell? Um, let's see. Where'd, where'd my cursor? Let's see. There we go. Uh, copper sheet train number three. It still hasn't left the station. What the hell? You know what? Let's... Here, fly with me and we'll go check it out real quick. And again, man, this episode is going some places I didn't even expect it to go. I just figured, okay, we'll show the AI limiter build and then the next episode we'll do the electromagnetic control rods. Let's see what the hell's going on here with our uh, copper sheet train number three. And first off, are you loaded? Yes, you are. Oh, he's past it, so why aren't you? No, let's go to drop off. Oh, man, are you? Um, yeah, okay, it was, it was in limbo, okay, well, let's, let's beat your butt back there, okay, oh, and on the side note, in one, two, three days, update eight is going to be released, and it's going to change that area right there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to load a game save into the experimental branch, see what needs to be changed if, for the topography, and then I'll rebuild this road if need be, and we'll go from there. So I'll be ready for update 8. Alright. and Oh yeah, and I'll be playing it on early access, not experimental. All you brave souls that are playing it on experimental, you go for it, man. Have a blast. That's what life is all about. Have fun. Okay, copper sheets coming in. Um, oh, you know what? I could. Oh, no, I don't think that's going to work. So I was thinking of taking a lift from here, and no, we can't go down. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so let's... Um, so if we take this, and again, just to see how far we can go with this puppy... If we go to right here, is it going to be on the center line? Is that what's going to make it straight? No. Okay, so it's going to have to go right here. Alright, because that's on the center line and that's one over. And we will take one of those. Go from there to there. There it is. All right. Yep. That's looking awfully damn good. All right. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's the train. Oh, please tell me you dropped off. No. <laughs> Oh, I did it again, son of a bitch. Oh my gosh. I think that was a stater. <laughs> oh, tell me. <laughs> yes, let's unload. And we'll unload. And we'll unload. We'll unload that. And so next time when the stater train comes... Let's uh, convert these to unload also. Um, it's so rare that I remember to change these over. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that forgets to do this. But hey, gotta laugh at yourself. Okay. That's fine. That'll give us some more time to do some more belt work. Now, the staters are coming off of there. And that's all that they're going to be used for. Uh, let's see, uh, electromagnetic control rods and automated wiring. Hmm. Okay, but we're only going to do the electromagnetic 
control rods here because uh, automated wiring um let's see here yeah they take stator and cable oh we could just have a little remote outpost for those two um making the automated wiring hmm oh i bet you that's the copper sheets right there all right let's welcome the train And, yep, there it is. Please stop and unload. That's all I ask. Yes, copper sheets. Okay, so nothing's going to get contaminated in the lines. 6,400 on each one. All right. Oh. Taking a quick sip of dew. Time to come out, balls to the walls. Three and number four. Yes. First one should be making AI limiters is this guy right here. And there we go. Our first AI limiter automated. Oh man, no more handcrafting those things. Well, I haven't had to handcraft in a while, but oh my god, I was being a pain in the ass. Yes. It has begun. Okay, so uh, we need to get staters over here too. Alright, that's what we were working on, staters. Hmm. Okay. we were to take staters, we'd have to go above, we'd have to take it to a third level and go over, oh, but then we'd have to drop it down underneath the uh, train line. Okay, let's, uh, we'll drop them right through here. And it is a Mark II? Mark II belt. So, Mark II belt, oh, how about conveyor lift? And yes, that's what we want. One, two. Okay. Oh, we'll fly for a bit. Uh, might have to change that around, but let's go over here and take a look. Ooh, do we do a four-way splitter so it takes it out evenly. Ooh. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay, I'm going to play around with an uh, inbound load balancer from a four to a one. Uh, I will go ahead and set that up um, and I'll see everybody in two seconds. Oh my gosh, it was just like right on cue. I had literally just finished this up. I haven't connected it underground, but here comes our staters. Yes. Ah. Okay, we've seen enough of that unloading. Yeah. All right, go get us some more staters. And. So this one. We'll plop down right there. And we're using Mark II's. And let's reverse you there. And I hope I lined this up correctly. Let's see, that's a Mark II lift. That's a Mark II lift. And is it gonna reach? No, not quite. Okay, so uh, I don't know. We'll take it like right there. And we'll plug that hole. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay. And we'll plug this hole. All right. So, okay, we'll start with these guys back here because they'll take the longest. And we want to go outbound to there, to there, to 
to that one and to that one and there goes the staters and all four belts please one two three four okay yeah and all that i did is just a reverse of a outbound four-way just merge two two and then merged it right into there and all off they go and okay we're waiting for that one to get there and this will bring it in as 120 per minute and let's go double check the numbers oh and the ai limiters have already started backing up and one thing i did forget to do which i'm going to do right now i did not put in a buffer and let's uh oh you know what? I don't think we're going to need a big old buffer. Let's... You no, know, no, no, no. Let's do it. I, I, I can't stop doing it that way now. I've, I've got to keep it going. Okay, and actually, let's... Uh, we'll put you... Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh, oh, crap. Are you going to miss the belt on this side? Yes. Okay. So we'll take that to there. And we'll take you to there. And uh, we'll drop off. Uh, where, how many AI limiters do I have? Oh, I've only got 31. No, I've got 131. Okay, we'll put you in there. Nice. Oh, there goes the staters. Come on. Oh, and it might help if I actually power this stuff too. Okay. Well, we will start back over here. Yeah, we'll start here. I was going to say, well, we'll just let it build up for a little bit. Okay, so this to there, to that one, to there. And we'll take your butt. I'll take you again over to this group. And, oh, well, so much for that. Oh, that was the end of the line. I was going to say, what the hell is that buffer doing down there? Uh, let's see. Do we got a power pole? Yeah, there's one right there. Uh-oh. And see, this is how much was going on. I did not put the rest of these belts in. And you know what I also didn't do? I did not belt these up. Well, that's okay. It'll give some time for uh, everything to get settled or buffered in to the machines. And we got one more row to do. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the misfit row. I know. I again, I'm working on self-development with everything not being uh, perfectly symmetrical and even and 100% efficiency. I'm okay with that. I, I'm getting there. But now, oh, this is what we could do. Oh yeah, look at all that deuterium going. It's it's gobbling up the quick wire. We'll take this buffer and nope, and we'll go right there with it. And okay, so if it's pumping out four and we've got 24 of them, 80, 96, 96 per minute, so that'll be a Mark II belt. So let's get this merger going. And yeah, we'll flip it around this way. And we'll take a Mark I for there. And then a Mark One right here. And a Mark Two to finalize it. Oh, how about if we uh, go right here? And <laughs> let's flip this run around. 
Oh, wow, I've been going at it for a while with the save file. Okay. All right, time to edit this one out. Ah, another break of dew. Okay, it, that gave me a few seconds to uh, come to terms with that tree. We're going right through the belt, and we'll do that. And the other thing is, too, man, this is going to have to be split into three different stations. And we're also going to have to have, the, you know what? Damn it. I don't want the AI buffer there. Uh, I should have put it right over here. Okay, um, I'll rearrange that in between episodes. Okay. Okay, we've got everything lined up. Let's grab that one. And we'll go right there. All right. AI limiters and electromagnetic control rods and you let's greet it right here at the tree oh yes now i did put the slowest belts required for everything to get in here so it's going to take a, again it will take a quite a while for everything to get fully saturated and running at 100 percent. i'm okay with it and let's see you should be coming out in a few seconds here okay uh, oh, because it took three staters and two AI limiters, and there they are! Boom, boom! Ah! Oh. Yes! Yes, the nuclear age is one step closer. I love it. Oh! There it is. Oh, and synchronized construction. Oh! It's been a while. Uh oh. No, oh, AI limiters are coming down here too. Okay, okay. Oh, I got a little bit worried. Alright, there it is. Okay. Oh, man. I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, different episode format that I went ahead and did. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know. Yes, no, thumbs up, whatever. And, uh,. Yes, and thank you for joining me on this journey in Satisfactory. And as always, enjoy life and be safe. And drink the dew.